we're just going to try a lot of different or show you a lot of different methods to texturize the hair for ladies' haircuts or for short men's haircuts or uh, whatever. But I'm a big believer in, in razor cutting, and I think with today's looks, men er and women, that you know we're showing a lot of movement, a lot of casualness to the hair, and that lends itself. When I do the sculpturing. I'm going to go through it first, just kind of even it all up, and then go through with the sculpturing with the razor. Now, Charles' hair, you know, he's a little bit thin, a little bit receding, so we want to make sure that we don't layer the top too short that, you know, he can't comb it over and it's going to show the recession area. So that's kind of goal number one. Whenever I do a man's haircut, I always like to do the perimeter first. Well, actually, that's man or woman. I pretty much always do the perimeter first on every haircut that I do. Now, whenever I do a a haircut, I always like to start and put in some kind of a middle guide, and especially when they have a little bit of recession up front. That way, I, I cut my perimeter, and I can use that perimeter guide as my guide and make sure that it falls out, and then go through and layer some of this in. Because of the recession, I'm dragging this first section way back, so I'm not really cutting, cutting out that front too much at all. The big thing is to stay in your rows, to make sure you will always have a guide from your previous section. Keep moving your body around the head. One of the key things also is just to, once you start a row, to keep following that row so you can stay in a pattern. But this is called the comfort cut. And for, for people that aren't really used to doing this sculpturing technique, I would recommend starting with this razor because there is a guard. Does it. The hair doesn't bunch up, it still slides through the hair because this does have the regular Tondale blade in it. And this is the sifter razor. So once you get a little more comfortable with the razor cutting, this is what I would be uh, switching to. If the customer has medium or finer hair, I would just go through it one time and go in the direction the client's going to wear their hair. So if Charles is working, wearing his back, I would just be starting and working it in, at one time going through it and working in this direction one time. The thicker the hair, the coarser the hair, the more you want to cut out. I go the opposite direction first, so I'll be working it forward first, and then crisscross and then work it back the way they're going to wear their hair the second time. With this sculpturing technique, there's a special way to hold the razor. And I keep the blade or the handle straight out. You're going to have three fingers over here. Your thumb is going to go on the shank right behind the blade, and your little finger is going to be buckled right behind the razor. So you've got three fingers in front. When you do this, you're going to comb first, and your razor is going to come right behind the comb. The razor needs to stay at a 45 degree angle to the hair. Okay? The longer the stroke that you take depends on the length of the hair behind the corner of the blade, so I can feel where the blade's at with the, the same amount of blend throughout the haircut. Okay? So you're always parallel the sections that you're working on. You can see some of these little curly or gray hairs, and those are the things that that's going to get cut off. You know, we, it's something we don't advertise with this technique, but technically, if you have a salt and pepper client and you do this sculpturing, you're cutting out more of the white hair than the black hair. I think one, a couple of the big keys is to keep the razor close. Comb the hair, just kind of get a feel of it. And, you just get a lot more movement, a lot, you know, we, if somebody's got wavier hair and you, before you start, and you comb through it, it kind of clumps together, and after you do this razoring, the sculpturing through it, you know, the hair just really separates, and you can see all the teeth marks, and that's how you kind of check it, but you can also just go through and check it yourself, and just see if you see a little bit of air through the ends of the hair, and kind of see where it still looks thick, and if you want to go back and get any more. The other true test if you're really doing this right is your butt should be shaking a little bit. Because you're keeping, you're keeping your arms and it's strictly an arm and shoulder motion, so if you're really doing it right, that's where you can really check yourself to see if you're moving moving a little bit. This is a little uh, mini mini razor by uh, Tondeo. So I'm just going to clean them up everywhere like we have to with these clients. Unfortunately, as us men get older, we get this weird hair growing everywhere.